As we move from the new world to the old world, we see how books are made. There's a relationship with a goat to a book. Before books and alphabet, people were writing on stone. The oldest writing here was written on pottery. It, it is, is very, very beautiful. beautiful. To the person that dances the best. It is very beautiful. As you can see, this is written on a ring, round and round. Laws are written on stones. The Athenian law says that no books will leave the library. The library opens from sunrise to sunset. This is written on papyrus. This is a book written on goatskin. This is the oldest Bible called Canetic Sinaiticus. You can even find it on the computer. This is the oldest Bible that we have in Rome. This is a Bible that the Greeks gave to the King of England. Many centuries later, they started writing with lowercase letters, spaces, and accents. Did you know that even today, we write on papyrus and goatskin? I saw it with my own eyes. They still ran on papyrus. Here I'm holding the Gospel of Mark. You see how big it is? It is only 40 pages on paper though. Papyrus is very fragile and it does not last long either. This is goatskin and it is very strong. It can last forever. But it is very expensive, like $500. Woo! It is very difficult. You need to take big scissors and cut along the lines. One skin makes eight pages. You keep cutting along the lines and cut off the edges. Yeah. We don't want one big page, do we? No. We want two pages, so we take this tool and make two pages. Now, we don't just write on an open sheet. We take this tool and put lines on it. It's very hard. You need to write in between the lines. Now, you take a pencil and make the lines. You follow the lines, and now the page is ready. Now we can write on it, but we don't just write, do we? No, we use lead and ink. There's different colors, blue, red, green, all of them. Imagine that. Now we're writing and correcting. Well, not to brag or anything, but I actually wrote on this. Yeah, me. And in the red letters, it says, Me, Constantine Adamu, the son of Nicholas and Tina, I have written this on the 13th of uh, Ju July, 2009, 8.05 in the morning, from America. On this, we don't write page next to the other page, because when we bind it, pages go page by page by page by page so before you want to calculate it exactly correct as you can see this is a page ready but we still need to write on the other lines now this is a perfect page doesn't that look nice they made that by hand writing it that takes a lot of time at the monastery of St. Cosma in Greece, Father Nikiforo wrote a very special passage for me, using a piece from the sight of a goat. Want to see it at the end of the presentation? So our piece doesn't wrinkle, we put it under the press. Now I'm looking at a finished book. It looks very nice, and it is thick and beautiful. Now I look at the pages. 
Oh no, we forgot to take out the lines. We go with an eraser and take them off. Now, I see a really big book. And I gotta hold it. It was heavy. And now, it is so beautiful and so nice. It is a complete book. And it is so, so nice. Now we look at the finished book and its cover. Isn't it nice? All that hard work pays off. If you go to YouTube, you can see Father Nikiforo teach these kids about manuscripts and about gospels. And now they are looking, reading, and fi fine-tuning, and even writing.